This video is part one of a three-part series I'm doing on Kento Momoda and why I think he's good. In this series, I'll be analyzing his footwork, stroke, and strategy. Kento Momoda was born on September 1st, 1994. He's Japanese, he stands 5 foot 9 and weighs 150 pounds. He's left-handed and his coach is Yasuki Nekanishi. Let's watch this short battle he has with Chu Tianchen at the 2015 Danish Open, and then we'll get started. Awesome. So in this video, I'm analyzing Kento's footwork. I've broken down his footwork into the following components. Ready stance, which is how he stands in recovery after playing a shot. His center control, which is how he stays close to his middle while playing a shot. And his unique movement style around the court. I've blacked out the top half of the screen because it helps me to focus on the footwork without getting distracted by the game itself. So let's start with the ready stance. It's wide because Kento has great flexibility in the hips, which helps him drop his center of gravity, similar to a pyramid geometry. It's also very stable because he uses his whole foot, specifically the heel strike, keeping him in contact with the ground. Using the whole foot allows him to use bigger muscles like the quads and glutes, rather than relying on the calves and the balls of the feet only. This way he can generate more ground force which translates to greater acceleration, making Kento really quick around the court. It's not that he doesn't play on the balls of the feet, because he does, when he needs to. He just uses whole foot movement more significantly than others for stability and to produce ground force, and then shifts to balls of the feet. This heel strike, combined with the heel pivot, is really important because he's clearly using ground force to change direction quickly and move forward. And if you're familiar with Kento's style, you'd know that he loves to get into the net and control it with tight net shots. All right, let's keep watching. So there's a heel strike. And there's a good view of low center of gravity. Feet are wide. Heel strike. And then watch this. Really wide here. This is the widest we've seen it. That produces low center of gravity, makes him move quick. And then again, a heel strike. And then a non-racket foot heel pivot. That was perfect. Now let's look at his center control. See how he hooks the non-racket foot to the center line during this jump out smash to hold the center and be ready for the next sequence. And his big racket foot lunge allows him to reach the shuttle while his non-racket foot does a heel drag to break and cause friction in order to hook the center line. That's really great. In this next part, I'm going to let the video play through and pause occasionally to make comments as we go. We're looking at Kento's movement style. It's grounded moves in a squat position, he moves low and hits high, he uses his whole foot and he heel strikes in order to generate ground force which increases acceleration. Also, his split step timing is perfect. Take a look here as he heel strikes and then changes direction very quickly. He's relaxed and he's natural. Let's take a look at this transition again. So he does two shuffles, this is called hovering out of that backcourt, and then he quickly transitions into a normal run. Kento's playing style is attacking through defending. So his movement style allows him to protect his court by keeping his racket closer to the ground. So his movement style is connected to his stroke style. 
which I describe as ropey or hanging or like a ball and chain. He uses his wrist in order to produce really good angle from low. In part two of this series on Kento Momoda, I'll be analyzing his stroke, so be sure to check that out. So please subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out my website at www.titanathletics.co.uk. Thanks for watching.